Hey guys, I'm Terry. Welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me. I'm just going to jump right in with you guys. I have a 24 ounce skinny from Crafty Cups for You, and I'm using a 60 grit sanding block. And I'm going to do just a quick sand on on this cup nothing too crazy and I'm cleaning it up with some isopropyl 91% alcohol I'm going to be taping off the sections that I don't want to paint at this time around I'm just using some regular blue painters tape that I got from Home Depot um, this task can actually be rather tedious so I've actually made a template um, using one of the cups that I've already finished um, I just traced it and made like a little template so it's a lot easier than dealing with this um, blue tape every single time okay so I brought my cup out to my little painting section um, you kind of want to decide where you want your colors I wanted the pink and purple to be in the middle um, the middle of the back side of this um, tumbler so I started out with blue and just worked my way through the colors. This is a rainbow spider web peekaboo. I'm so excited. I've been asked a lot how I get my paint job so good, and it's really hard for me to explain in into words how I do it. Um, I did slow down um, the pink section so that you can see. I just use short um, bursts. Once that was dry, I removed the tape and I taped off the painted section to expose the non-painted section. And then I forgot to record me painting the top portion of this tumbler. I'm so sorry, but it's just, you know, pink and purple, like little ombre. I have about five milliliters of Mr. Nola's Speed Dry Epoxy. And I've taped off the V section and the bottom section of my tumbler with some electrical tape. In my opinion, you can go thin with this layer or thick. It doesn't really matter. I've, I've done it both ways and they both come out the same. Now I'm going to go in with my glitters. This one is Wednesday from Peachy Olive Glitters. Now we have Drama Llama from PDB Creative Studio. Skinny Dip from PDB Creative Studio. Mojito from PDB. Going in with Glow Stick from PDB. And then my personal favorite, Hazard from PDB. Here I'm just removing the electrical tape. You'll want to do that right away right after you're done um, doing your glitter. And I'm going to let this dry for about four hours before glittering that V section. Oh my gosh, so I totally forgot to hit the record button again. Anyways, um, I did fix that little boo-boo before I went in with my glitter. And I'm using Mod Podge for this section so I can use a straight edge paintbrush to get into those little nook and crannies. It's just easier for me. I don't care for taping off over glitter. And I'm just glittering this section. Super easy. Okay, once the Mod Podge dried, I dry brushed the glitter to remove any uh, glitter that got in places that it wasn't supposed to be. Then I spray sealed it with um, crystal clear 
um, triple thick glaze from Home Depot, my favorite sealer. And then I went in with one layer of epoxy. And this is just one layer and I am going in with a heavy sand. I'm using a 60 grit sanding block. I wanna make sure to get this completely smooth before my next step. I believe I used a 60 grit and then an 80 grit. And then also I wanna add that my sink was occupied so that's why I have this wet napkin. Um, I like to do wet sands because um, the sanding dust irritates my eyes really bad. So when I do a wet sand um, or a water sand, it really keeps the dust down. It's you could definitely use a spray bottle with some water in it, but I didn't have that, so. After that, I cleaned it up with some isopropyl alcohol. Well, I'm sorry, this is gonna be super ghetto right here. I don't have any super fancy um, filming equipment, so I'm just holding my phone as I'm epoxying this. Uh, I think I'm adding about, I would say about 20 milliliters of epoxy and um we'll see how it goes hopefully it'll we will only need one more just one coat okay so here it is um with two coats of resin or epoxy sorry um I think it looks perfect for my peekaboo. I'm super excited. These are my stencils. I pre-cut them. Um, I like to use the Oracle stencil vinyl from Michaels. Um, it's really easy to remove. That's why I like it so much. So if you like to map out where you want to place your stencils, um, you should do that. Um, I just went in willy-nilly here. I didn't really have any rhyme or reason or plan. <laughs> I just placed them wherever I thought they would look the best. I'm taking my crafting knife or Zacto knife and just removing that section that landed in that V portion. Now I'm going to tape off the areas that I don't want paint, like the purple bottom and the V section. I'm using electrical tape.
I did one coat of spray paint. I used Montana Black and the name is called Infraviolet. And I am hitting it with a heat gun just to set it up. And I'm going to start removing all that tape and all those stencils. I used this weeding tool that I got from Mr. Nola's. It has like a needle on it and it's so perfect for getting into these tiny little areas. Um, it's my favorite tool. I absolutely love it. If you don't have one already, you should definitely get one. It's so worth it. This is just my favorite part of making this cup. Um, I just love pulling those decals off and seeing that beautiful glitter. It's, I just love it, it's my favorite. <laughs> I added this really cool cobblestone vinyl that I got from Amazon. I will try and find the link and list it below in the description box. In Design Space, I used the square shape and I reshaped it using 11 for the width and 0 0.20 for the height. And that gives me those little stripes. Here I'm just measuring the length for my zipper and I'm going to prepare the zipper. I actually had no idea what kind of zipper pull I was going to put on this cup. I just knew I wanted to do like a rainbow zipper or peekaboo. Um, so I'm just looking through. I have so many zipper pulls. I have like a lot. <laughs> um, this isn't even half of them. I've been buying them for quite some time now. Um, but I think I found the right one. I think it'll be really cute on this cup. Little skull, so cute. I think it goes with the Halloween uh, theme. Okay, so to put the zipper pull onto the zipper tape, I separate the zipper tape into two little pieces, like halfway down the tape. And then I'll put those two ends into the pointed side of the zipper pull, if that makes sense. And then you just pull it down until you hear it click and then flip it around and then pull it the other way. I hope that makes sense. I, I don't know how else to explain it. Um, you can also view my other YouTube video with the fabric uh, zipper tumbler that I made. And um, I think I explained it better in that video, but um, yeah. So if you wanna do that, you can do that. Also, I remove all this um, clear plastic extra material. Um, if you have a, like a nylon or a fabric zipper, you'll definitely wanna remove that and you'll wanna heat it up so it doesn't fray. I uh, use a lighter to melt um, the little strings and little materials that stick out. Um, it helps it stay flat and nice so you're not having any pokey bits under your epoxy. 
Also, I decided to remove the charm um, instead of taping it up. Um, it, it hits the top of my um, tumbler turner. I have like a enclosed tumbler turner, so it kind of like hits it when it's taped up and sticking up, so it's better for me to take it off. The only problem is it leaves um, uh, tool marks, so I have to be really, really careful. Okay, so I was gonna add the zipper and the decal, but I decided that I didn't really like this section. I thought it just was flat. So I decided to do a power wash on it with orange and pink and purple. I think it came out really cute. I like it a lot better. I have some acetone here in this little cap and a Q-tip and I'm going to rub out the center section where it's cloudy. I think that it became cloudy because there was residue from a previous decal that I had on there that I didn't like that I removed. So I'm just going to go in and clean that up a little bit and see how it looks. Before I place my decal, I am going to add a layer of UV resin to the power wash section that I just did. I don't want my transfer tape to pull up the paint. So just as a cautionary measure, I'm going to put a quick little layer of this UV resin and I added a little bit of, it's like a glitter additive, it's called Colon, and I got it from Feather Bear Bling like years ago. And I put it in everything, it lasts me forever. <laughs> Anyways, let's see how it looks when it shines up. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. I really think the power wash did add some character and I really like it now. Okay, I'm just adding my decal and I didn't record me adding the zipper since I've already, you know, um, shown you how to do that on the last video of my fabric zipper tumbler video that I made. So if you want to see that, please look at the other video that I have. I only have two. <laughs> Anyways, um, so now it's all ready for epoxy. I'm going to add two layers of epoxy on this and um, it's done. Finally, <laughs> finally. <laughs> Here it is. I hope you guys liked my video. I tried to keep it short by not showing you things that I think you already know how to do. Please let me know what you think of my tumbler and if you liked my tutorial, 
um please like it and subscribe to my channel it really means the world to me i'm new at this and just figuring it out and your support really means so much to me thank you guys and have a great day